Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve the question 2 from exercise 1.1 from real numbers chapter. Find the LCM and HCF of the following pairs of integers and verify that LCM times HCF is equal to product of the two numbers. So let us do step by step by finding out the LCM and HCF of the given number. Now to find this out, I am going to use the prime factorization using the repeated division method. So let me write down 26 here and 91 over here. And first I am going to solve the 26 and I have to use only the prime numbers to divide this 26 repeatedly. So this goes in the table of 2. So 2 1 times 2 and 2 3 times is 6. And 13 is a prime number so it divides itself. So 13, 1 times is 13. So we have the factors of 26 as 2 times 13. Now let us prime factorize 91. So 91 goes in the table of 7. So 7, 1 times is 7. So we have 2 as the remainder. So it becomes 21. And 7 times 3 gives us 21. So we get 13 over here. And 13 is a prime number, we know, so it divides itself, so 13 1 times is 13. So now we have the factors of 91 as 7 times 13. So let us first find out the HCF or the highest common factor of these two numbers. So HCF of 26 and 91, these are the two numbers. Now to find the HCF, we will circle out the common terms in these two given numbers. That is, the common term present in 26 and 91 is 13. So the HCF is 13. That is the number which is common for both the given numbers. Now to find the LCM of these two given numbers, so LCM of 26 and 91, remember the LCM is found as HCF times non-common numbers. Now HCF we have already found it as 13 and the non-common numbers are the ones which are not common in 26 and 91. Those are the ones which we have not circled. That is 2 times 7. So this gives us the LCM that is 13 times 2 gives us 26 times 7. And simplifying this, we get 182. So the HCF is 13 and the LCM is 182. Now let us look at the second part of this question where they have told us to verify that LCM times HCF is equal to product of the two numbers. So coming over here. So LCM we had got it as 182 times HCF we have it as 13 and let us see the product of these two numbers that is 26 times 91 if we get it as the same answer or not. So 182 times 13 we will go for the long multiplication where 3 times 182 will give us a value of 546 and let us put a plus and here 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 8 is 8 and 1 times 1 is 1. So adding these all together 6, 6, 3, 1. So 2366. Now let us do the long multiplication for these two numbers. So 1 times 6 is 6 and this is 2. And then 9 times 6 is 54. 5 carry and 9 times 2 is 18 plus 5 is 23. So here also we get it as 2300. 66. So we have verified that LCM times HCF of these two numbers will be equal to the product of the given two numbers. So let us look at the second sub part of this question. Now we have to find the LCM and HCF of these two numbers. So let us consider 510 first. So this ends with a even number 0 that means this number is divisible by 2. So 2 2 times is 4 and 1 is the remainder. So we have 11. 
so 2 5 times is 10 so we get a remainder again 1 here so we have 10 so 2 5 times is 10 now this number ends with a 5 that means it goes in the table of 5 so 5 5 times is 25 and 5 1 times is 5 now 51 goes in the table of 3 so 3 1 times is 5 we have a remainder 2 so 3 7 times is 21 now 17 is a prime number itself so 17 divides itself and we get a 1 over here so we have the factors of 510 as 2 times 5 times 3 times 17. Now let us find out the factors of 92. Now this number also ends up with an even number which is 2. That means it is divisible by 2 easily. So 2 4 times is 8. We have a remainder 1. So we get 12. So 2 6 times is 12. Now again a number ending with an even number. So we will divide it again by 2. 2 2 times is 4 and 2 3 times is 6. And 23 is a prime number. So it will divide itself and we will get it as 23 1 times 23. So the factors of 92 we have are 2 times 2 times 23. Now let us find out the HCF first that is the highest common factor. Now to find out the highest common factor we will circle out the numbers which are present both in 510 and 92. So we have 1 2 over here and 1 2 over here. So we will write the 2 over here and none of the numbers are repeated. None of the numbers are common in both. So the HCF of 92 and 510 is 2 only. Now LCM we know that it is a multiplication of HCF and the non-common terms. So HCF we have got it as 2 multiplied with rest of the numbers which are not common. That is we have 1, 2 over here. Then we have the 5. Then we have the 3. And then we have the 17. And then we have the 23. So multiplying all these numbers we will get a value of 23,460. So this is the LCM of the given two numbers and this is the HCF. Now let us look at the verification. So it was given that LCM times HCF should be equal to the product of the two numbers. So LCM we have got it over here as 23,460 and HCF was 2. So let's check out using long multiplication how much we get. So this is 0, 2 times 6 is 12, 1 carry, 2 times 4 is 8, 9. So 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 2 is 4. So we got it as 46,920. Now let us look at the product of these two numbers that is 510 times 92. So again using the long multiplication let us find out 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 5 is 10. Then let us put a plus over here and 9 times 0 is 0, 9 times 1 is 9 and 9 times 5 is 45. So let's check how much we get 0, 2, 9 and here 6 and here 4. So this is also 46,920. So we have verified that the product of LCM and HCF is equal to the product of the given two numbers. Now let us look at the last subpart of this question. 336 and 54. So let us find out the prime factorization of 336 first. So this goes in the table of 2. So 2 1 times is 2. 1 is the remainder. 2 6 times is 12. 1 is the remainder and 2 8 times is 16. Now again I am going to divide this by 2. So 2 8 times is 16 and 2 4 times is 8 and this again divides by 2. So 2 42 times is 84. Again divides by 2. 2 21 times is 42. Now 21 goes in the table of 3. So 3 7 times is 21 and 
finally 7 is a prime number it divides itself so we can write 336 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 now all of these are prime numbers since we are writing all the factors as prime numbers this is called as prime factorization now let us factorize the next number 54 so here again we can divide it by 2 2 2 times is 4 1 is the remainder so we get 14 so 2 7 times is 14 27 goes in the table of 3 3 9 times is 27 so 3 3 times gives us 9 and 3 1 times is 3 so the factors of 54 we get over here are 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 now let us find out the HCF first so to find out HCF we are going to circle out the common numbers so 2 is common between 336 and 54 so we will write 2 here now we have 3 which is common so 3 and 3 so we are going to write over here 3 now none of the numbers are repeated so we have the HCF as 6 now the next thing we are going to do is finding the LCM so that is given as HCF multiplied with rest of the numbers which we have not circled that is 2 times 2 times 7 that were remaining from 336 times 3 times 3 these two 3's were remaining from 54 so this is going to give us a value of 3024 so the LCM is 3024 and the HCF is 6 now let us verify the LCM times HCF whether it is equal to product of the given numbers or not so we have here the LCM as 3024 multiplied with the HCF which is 6 so using long multiplication we have 6 times 4 is 24 2 in the carry and 6 times 2 is 12 13 14 1 over here 6 times 0 is 0 and 1 which was the carry comes down and 6 times 3 is 18 so we get 18144 now let us see the product of these two numbers that is 336 times 54 so 4 times 336 gives us a value of 1344 and 5 times 336 will give us a value of 1680 so adding these two let us check we get 4 here and 4 and 11 here so we get 8 and here 1 so this is verified that LCM times HCF is equal to product of the two numbers both the answers are same I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching